First off, congratulations for setting off on your journey to buying your first home. I cast my mind back 11 years ago to 2009 when I embarked on that very same journey myself. Um, I remember back then I was working at the bank and my the person who wrote the loan, the, the, the bank officer who wrote the loan and my conveyance, uh, Basically, we're, we're really surprised because my actual settlement was a, was a really stressful one, which, which isn't uncommon for, for home loans. Um, fortunately enough for me, I was experienced in the bank and I knew at least what to expect on the journey. So uh, there wasn't too much stress for me. But today I just wanted to um, give you three tips on what, what to do to avoid those stressful situations because they do pop up. Um, very often. So number one will be um, to get your house in order. If there's things like overdrafts on your bank statements, um, missed payments, that sort of stuff, you can't be having those when you're applying for a loan. It just doesn't look good to a lender if you can't pay your bills. So added to that would be your credit file. So um, the credit file provides certain information, including a credit score, which all the banks look at. You can look at that credit file for free. Um, there's lots of apps now. All you need to do is go online and, and search somewhere. In fact, what I'll do is I'll share a link at the bottom of the page for, for a place for you to go to look at, to look at that, um, that link. Uh, but the credit file shows a bit more information. It shows if, if you haven't been paying um, things like credit cards and personal loans, those sorts of debts, if you've been behind um, or if you've defaulted. Um, and if that's the case, they're not going to like it very much either. Um, oh, the second tip is an obvious one. I get this all the time and it's people that call me up on the phone and say, Will, I need a loan now. I want to buy this place that I've just gone through. Problem is, is most real estate agents, especially today, will want you to have a pre-approval in place already. So here's the thing, a pre-approval will take one to three weeks to get in place. So if you've found a place that you like and then you have to wait one to three weeks to get the pre-approval in place, well, you might find that place will be already sold in that one to three weeks. Um, don't be too late also means don't apply don't, don't apply now and think that you're going to have that pre-approval in one to three weeks. In a lot of circumstances, there's a lot of work that needs to be done to get uh, a loan applicant in the right position to be able to get approved for the loan. So not leaving it to the last minute is super important uh, because it allows you to, to prepare and be in position when you find that house that you want to buy. Number three... It's going to be, sound a bit funny because this video is online. I get the irony, but the, the tip number three is don't research online. Um, there's probably a few factors put together as to why you shouldn't do that. So number one, most of the information you're going to find online uh, is either just plain wrong uh, or it's outdated um, and, and times have changed and... Um, they no longer apply, or those things might be true that you're finding, but they just don't apply to your circumstances. So I would avoid doing your own research, looking on the forums, reading through the forums, because A, the information might not be right, but B, you're going to have so many different options and so much different pieces of information. You're going to get what's called, par I can't even say it, paralysis analysis. And basically, it's going to do your head in before you've even embarked on the journey of searching for your property. So what I would say, and what I say all the time is that buying, a, buying, a, buying any house, let alone your first house, is like getting to the top of Everest. No one would climb up to the top of Everest on their own. They get a team of Sherpas, and the, and the Sherpas help them get to the top. So in this circumstance, your Sherpa is a good conveyancer and a good mortgage broker. Um, that's why these people exist. They, they exist to help you and get you, get you through that journey and get you to buying your first home. So there it is, simple three tips. Hope you liked it.